In this video we're going to add camera movement to our game so it follows the player. So if we right click insert new object and then we're going to scroll down and add a tiled background and we're going to give it a name of camera and then insert. Click on your stage and then what we're going to do here is just going to create a square that's got a green fill and we're going to select and drag that out, crop out the stuff we don't need and close. Now we're going to make our sprite, our object, smaller and we're going to move it closer to our player sprite. And then we're going to go and add a behavior to our camera and we add new behavior. And then we choose the option once it loads to scroll to and click add. Once we've closed the camera behavior, what we can do is we can move over to the properties menu and we're going to change the initially visible to false so that it doesn't show up on our game and we're going to move over to our event sheet and we're going to choose system and then in the search area we're going to type in every tick and click next and then we're going to add actions to every tick and what this will do is it'll, we're going to target our camera and we're going to then type set position and then click on that one and this is where we're going to change the variables we're going to type in lerp l e r p open bracket and then we're going to type in self and then we're going to put dot X and then we're going to put in there after we've done dot X a comma and then we're going to type in player and we're going to put player dot X and then we're going to do one last little command which is 0 0.03 and then close the bracket. And then if we go down to our Y area, we're going to add in lerp again, L-E-R-P, open the bracket, type in self dot Y in this time, and then we're going to do comma player dot Y, and then the same value after the comma 0 0.03, and then close the bracket. and then click done. Once we've done this we're going to go and play the game and what should happen is that when the player moves to the edge of the viewable area on the screen the camera will follow the player. So let's try it now. We're going to jump over our enemy and then hopefully our camera will follow.